Welcome to the Halls of the Dead. Oh. Bitch. Uh. Hello there, you beautiful exile, and welcome to a quick little video um, about the League mechanic. This is going to be just my quick initial thoughts about... After doing the League mechanic for like... Two, three hours. And I have a couple of uh, things to get out of my chest first. So, at the beginning, this mechanic felt very, very, very challenging. Even though this build I have right now was... It's not really... It's not really weak. It's not ready, but it's not weak. I was mapping comfortably. Sure, there's a couple of rips here and there because, you know... What can, what can you do about physical damage sometimes when you're still building? But that's not the point. The point is that for the amount of work I put in into this league mechanic, the rewards I have to show for might not be as enticing for most people. And that's exactly what I want to talk about. Is this league bad? Or rather, the league mechanic. In short, I don't think so. I think the tattoos are a good thing. I think the I think being able to use those over spec points you have, for example, with something like this, replaces a small strength passive skill. Meaning that let's say you are you're starting as a marauder and you have 200 extra strength that you're not going to be using. You're not strength stacking. You're just you just happen to have that many because you're specking points around the Marauder 3. And what do you do? Well, now you have an option to uh, change one of those smaller nodes of strength nodes into something completely different. Now you get the option to change this node into something else. And that I think that's good. I think that's, that's very healthy. That gives a, an interesting power creep to the characters. Uh, there's one that I'm going to be using already um, that gives me uh, elemental resistances. Here we go, this one. Uh, it's good to like help cap elemental resistances and then you can maybe change a gear to something else that's better. Now, let's talk about difficulty. As you can see, right here it says the monster level is 70. The footage, the footage of me playing was when the monsters were level 59 or something like that. This does not translate to difficulty. Even though the monsters were just level 59, they were very extremely tanky. Most of the battles take very long. It's like a lot of back and forth, back and forth. You need to you need to go you need to go ahead, defend, um, then advance, then go back again, uh, defend, go go forwards again. Uh, attack, then defend again, which in a battle scenario like this, it makes sense. However, there's a lot of setting up for five glass bowlers, uh, f five glass blowers, bubble, uh, five chromatic orbs, five jeweler orbs, and I finished I finished all of the matches, all of it. I went all the way to the last round and I won the league mechanic three times in a row. Of course, after losing a couple of times, but I did. And how the league mechanic works is you need to pick a fight with somebody, you gain these currencies for every single one of these NPCs here in the map, and then you can, you get to hire, uh, you get to hire, um, Warriors, maybe buy a trinket for the warrior, um, and that helps you gain an edge over the battle as you progress. And then at the end, you get to choose between two extra rewards, let's say a special tattoo, like a, a much rarer tattoo, or a totem that will be active forever up until uh, your next battle until you restart the League Mechanic and eventually lose it for one reason or another. Maybe it's a totem that insta-revives you. It's like a small little buff for the, ne the next time around. Now, with that said, after about three hours of playing this, 
at the end, I had to show for a handful of currency, not even like, you know, a divine's worth of currency. And, and that is, of course, with me winning, not just like losing after three fights because it's too hard. Um, and uh, like five or six tattoos after three hours. So, if you're looking for a quick cash, uh, some extra power for your character, maybe you should be looking elsewhere. However, if you need the tattoos, then I'm quite sure you're going to love the League mechanic. Because you can find extra fire damage, you can find extra coal damage. Uh, and if you happened to win all the way, all, every, every round, as it progresses, as it gets more and more and more difficult, then you get one rarer tattoo, and, and now you get to min-max your build in whichever way you feel like it. But that's what it is all about. Feels like this league is intended for people who want to min-max their uh, passive tree. So this league has a lot of setting up. It has a lot of uh, difficulty up front. And it took me like six tries or so just to understand enough after molding my ass off uh, due to how difficult it was at the beginning. Fine, I understood, I grinded, there we go, I won three times in a row. But the rewards versus the input of work don't match, in my opinion. TLDR. Very hard, very little reward. I would imagine Sanctum to be just as challenging, if not more, maybe. But the rewards there are juicy AF. I'm going to continue doing this because this is the whole point of the 3.22 patch. I'm going to continue playing it. And if my thoughts change, I will let you know. With all of that said, thank you for watching. Those are my thoughts. Tell me in the comments down below if you agree with what I said or if you have a different opinion about it. With all of that said, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. Ring the bell uh, so you don't miss out the notifications of my channel. I'm going to be live here at YouTube playing more Path of Exile pretty much the entire week. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you, beautiful Exile, in the next one. Bye-bye.